Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go through how to do a standard repeat pattern in Affinity Designer for the iPad. As you can see, I have already gotten started. I have used the Pixel Persona in Affinity Designer and I used the gouache brushes in order to create a couple flowers. So the first thing I want to do is add a background and I think I'm going to try this in a navy. Going into your layers, you can select any of your layers and then drag them around to where you would like to place them. And you can always enlarge these if you need to. So with it selected, I want to drag this over to one side of the document or artboard, whatever you want to call it. And then I want to copy and paste this one in place. So if you press down with one finger and release it, hit copy and then paste. Coming over to the right side of your screen, Towards the bottom, you will see a dotted square with another square in it. Click that and that is your transform panel. And you will see the position section, you'll see X and Y. So to create a standard repeating pattern, anything that comes off of one side of the artboard needs to be repeated on the opposite side. So when I created this document, I made it 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And because you're moving it horizontally, you're going to click in the X and go plus 2000. Click OK. And as you can see, it has copied it on to the other side of the artboard, exactly like you wanted it. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to duplicate it, and then I want to rotate it, that white dot above the rectangle will allow you to rotate. So just like I did before, hold down on the screen, copy, hold down again, paste. Go into your transform panel. And this time, because you're moving it vertically, you're going to go into the Y. And then because you are moving it up, instead of adding 2000, you're going to minus 2000. So as a quick refresher, anytime you are moving something from the left to right, you're going to add. If you're moving right to left, you're going to subtract. If you're moving top to bottom, you'll add. And anything you're moving from the bottom to the top, you are subtracting. If you go back into your layers, I want to have both of the blue flowers that are on the side selected. So I'm going to swipe left to right on that other flower. And because these are copied in the exact way they need to to repeat correctly, I can move these together. Make sure not to do it separately or you'll have to copy and paste again and then move to the opposite side. So I like how that looks. So with the pink flower, I'm just going to duplicate around the artboard a few times and then change the direction so they are not all the same. And then do any of the changes that I need to. I'm actually going to go back into the pixel persona, which is in that top right. And I'm going to grab the brush again and go back to gouache, change the size, make sure I'm on a new layer, and just do one dot, select it, and then duplicate 
and once you are ready to save it, hit your document, export. I am going to export this as a PNG. And then just like I did in the last video, I'm going to go to Spoonflower. And upload the design. I always like to make sure that it is repeating exactly how I'd like it. And as you can see, it is repeating and it looks good. So I hope you enjoyed the video on learning how to create a standard repeating pattern in Affinity Designer for the iPad. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.